Anime is real. It's true. All of it. And all of it now includes Star Wars Resistance, a new anime-inspired show created by Rebels showrunner Dave Filoni. By the way, he also directed season one episodes of one of the best animated series ever, Avatar The Last Airbender. But back on topic, Star Wars Resistance will follow a young Resistance pilot named Kazuda who's spying on the First Order. She won't be alone though. Disney says BB-8 and Poe Dameron will pop up in the show, and so will Captain Phasma. You can watch Star Wars Resistance this fall on the Disney Channel. The House of Mario, Link, and Samus will soon have a new leader. Shintaro Furukawa has been named the new president of Nintendo, succeeding the retiring Tatsumi Kamishima this June. So let's get to know Mr. Furukawa. Let's see here, he's 46 years young, he's currently a board member for Nintendo and the Pokemon Company, plus speaks fluent English. And in just a few short months, he'll become Nintendo's sixth president in 128 years. He also could become the first Nintendo president to oversee a standalone Waluigi game. Just saying. Avengers Infinity War premieres tonight here in the States, but it's already making Tony Stark money overseas. The Hollywood Reporter says the Marvel movie brought in $39 million yesterday from 21 different markets. That includes a record $6.5 million opening day haul in South Korea, as well as $3.9 million in France. As for here, there's some speculation Infinity War could maybe, just possibly, top the $248 million opening weekend record set by Star Wars The Force Awakens which would be huge, even bigger than Thanos' chin. And that's your daily fix for April 26th, Alien Day. Now that you're all caught up, watch our video review for the Nintendo Labo Variety Kit. Only Nintendo could make us want to play with cardboard. With that, I'm Damon Hatfield. Don't forget to download the IGN app, and remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.